Show, guys. My name is Cal, and I am one of the managers for the Cougar Smart Start News Show. And we use technology here every day. Let's go see some of the other uses of technology. In fact, Mrs. Vanessa's room is right next door, and she uses technology every day. Hello, Mrs. Vanessa. Hi, Kyle. How do you use technology? I, uh, during periods one and two, have a Plato remediation class that comes in here, and I'm responsible for making sure the students can get online. They know how to use their their programs, and if there's a problem on the system, I make sure that they can uh, that those problems get fixed, and I make sure that they can do pretty much everything that they have to do to remediate for I step prep testing. Let's ask some of the students how Plato helps them. I like Plato because it really helps me out in language. So it helps me out here, and then it helps me back in the class so I can get better grades. Um, I usually learn before my class, so like I get it more because I use my own techniques since a computer teaches me. I like Plato because it helps me because I didn't do good on the I step and to get good better grades. It helps you with I step. Today we are up here with Mrs. Mitchell, and she is in here with her music class with GarageBand, an awesome tool for creating music. So Mrs. Mitchell, how has GarageBand changed teaching music? Well, it's changed it a lot, actually. Uh, when I first started teaching, of course, the only way that students could write music was on with a pencil and a piece of staff paper. In GarageBand, there are millions of loops and uh, instrument sounds that you can use to compile one piece of music. Our assignment is to take all those different loops, listen to all the different loops, and then choose the ones that match well together in any particular genre, like rock and roll, or jazz, or country, or classical, or new age. And they compile all those together, keep adding in different sounds, not always piling them up on top of each other, but moving them around so that they come up with a composition that actually sounds like a real piece of music that somebody else has compiled. It's a very exciting way to work, and it really opens the whole gamut of what a student can do with music. Hey, New Perry, we're about to go to Mr. Slater's workshop. How are you doing today, Chloe? I'm good. I have a question. So how has technology um, changed woodshop? Well, the class isn't called woodshop anymore. It's, in fact, it's called industrial technology because we have more than just what you see here, more than just woodwork. In fact, if you come with me, I'll show you. We do everything from flying airplanes to computer graphics. We even have a section on environmental technology and keeping our water clean. Hey, guess what I heard? What? I heard that you have this really cool thing that lets you show things on the board. Would you like to show it to us? Uh, sure. The QView projector? I'd love to. Yeah, that thingy. Well, in science class, I will use the QView to not only put up some uh, diagrams and things that are in a book, but will also, they kind of can expand and blow up things that I would do, everything from a small thing, like I have a small worm here, to any type of demonstration or experiment I, I might do. Instead of having all the kids huddle around you and trying to see what you're doing, what demonstration you're doing, you can put it under here and put it up on the big screen and they can just stay in their seats and see the whole thing. So it's pretty cool that way. Hey, not only do the students get to have fun with technology, so do the teachers. I've been able to do things like use containers to review material with my students and I've been able to learn how to how to hide different materials so that kids can come up with an answer on their own and then check themselves to see if they're correct. And it looks like today I'm going to learn about actions in my class. It's a good thing I have my pass because I'm running late. Did you know there's more uses of making more than just a handwriting tool? We're with Mrs. Moore to show us some other uses besides the handwriting tool. Mrs. Moore? Okay, thank you. You can see the Promethean board does a couple really um, fun activities for the kids. Not only active expressions that give immediate feedback for the students and teachers, but also the active slate where the students can lead direction and you can just guide them. Hi, it's me, Megan, the birthday girl, and I'm here with my friend Chris, and we're going to be talking about some new technology in the school. So, Chris, I hear that there's this new iPad app that you and your friends are talking about. It's called Dragon Diction, and pretty much what it does is you say whatever you feel like writing, and it will write it down for you, but if you don't pronounce the words right, it will say something totally different. 
Thanks for the awesome comment, Chris. You're welcome. Alright, so we heard from Chris about the uses for the iPad, but we in here in the newsroom use the iPad every day. Destiny, how do you use the iPad? Well, I'm able to take photos, um, which is my job in the newsroom. I'm able to take photos and delete them quickly if I need to. And I'm able to, to uh, take pictures and post them on a bulletin board for everybody to share the memories. That sounds really neat, Destiny. So, Kaylin, how do you use the iPad in the newsroom? Well, I use the iPad every day for Word of the Day. Make sure I say the word right, pronounce it right on the news. That sounds very useful, Caitlin. As you can see, the iPad is a very useful tool in our middle school. Hi, Mr. Halvin. Hello. I see you use the iPad just like I do every day. Yes, I do. How does it help you in teacher evaluations? Well, when I do walk-in evaluation in the teacher's classroom, it used to be I had to have a notepad and I had to write down all my notes, go back to the computer and type them in and then send it to the teacher and then we can talk about it. Well, when I use the, the iPad with the keyboard here, uh, I can type all my information right into the iPad and email to the teacher before he can walk out of the classroom, so it really speeds things up. Good morning, Mrs. Alba. What you working on? Hi, Jackie. I'm just putting the announcements on the television screen so you guys can see it in your classroom. So what else are you doing? Jackie, I use technology all day long. I use it for the phone system. It's on my monitor so I can call into the classroom. And I also use it for power school. So anytime I need to know where a student is, I just put the name in, it pops up. I can get onto my other monitor and call that classroom. I also can use it for our accounting software so I can make checks and pay people. And we also have the door monitor, which I can see who's at the back door. They can ring into me and I'm able to push a button and unlock the door from at my desk. And then when you hear me on the intercom in the morning, it's another phone line. So I have two phones and two monitors. So I am doing technology all day long. Jason, Mrs. Alva, it sounds like you're quite busy. Actually, Jackie, all this technology helps the day run a lot smoother. And you know, you should ask Mrs. Rose about how technology helps her throughout the day. Hey, Mrs. Rose. Mrs. Alva told me that you use technology. I do. All of our heating, air conditioning, water is all on a computer screen. And I can look and show that every unit in the building is running. I can have every classroom heat controlled by here, air conditioning controlled by here. We have the building in, in alarm when we're not here. If someone comes in the building, the alarms go off. They call the police. I meet the police here. As you can see how much I use it, have you talked to Mr. West because He's in charge of this, so no, if this doesn't work, guess who I call? Mr. West. It's a good idea. Good idea. Hello, Mr. West. Hi, Jack. I just got done talking to Mrs. Rouse about how she uses technology. How do you use technology? As a middle school building tech, I could be on the roof aligning a satellite or under a desk making sure all the wires are connected properly. One of the many tools I use is Remote Desktop, which allows me to remote into most computers connected to the New Prairie Schools network. This allows me to fix computer problems with minimal interruption to the classroom. My favorite use of technology is the CSSN Newsroom. We use a camera, video switcher, television, computer, iPad, microphone, CD player, sound system, DVD player, and the most important piece, human creativity to produce a news program on a daily basis. The most satisfying part of technology use is when you see a student's eyes light up with excitement and the wonderful smile that is sure to follow. We love technology at New Prairie Middle School!